who say hi. Well, welcome everyone. This is my first time doing this streaming in English. I have been doing this in Spanish for a while. For those who doesn't know me, I'm Guillermo Rodas. I'm from Colombia, but since one year ago, I, I, I live in Estocolm, Sweden. And I decide to do Thursdays on English, or in English. Hey, Natalie! <laughs> it's always nice to see you, Natalie. Today, we are going to do something special. We are going to work with a storybook. It's something that we have been using in our project. And I have a comment. I have a comment for those who speak English. Because again, this is a Spanish speaking streaming. But we, we are trying something different. So we have the exclamation English to provide you information about what we're going to do. And yeah, just let's wait a little bit. <laughs> and I, hey man, Cadillac, Cadillac Jack. I have seen your, your streamings. You are really good. Very nice with React. Nice to have you here. So yeah, so maybe, maybe I will start give you some introduction to the project. Let me change my screen. So basically we are building this app. Uh, we have a kind of prototype here. It's like a productivity app. Uh, what we want to do is, yeah, just like do the full, the full app, web app. This is, this is like a web view right now. Uh, web, yeah, mobile view in web, but it's a, you know, a web app. Uh, we are going to do, we are, right now we are building the components library. It's basically like a completely apart project. And we have a web project when the component library is a dependency. And we are using a storybook to show our components. We have built some components based on atomic design. Uh, we are also using something called design tokens. That's the thing we are going to do today. We are going to build uh, some components that represent visually these design tokens. We are using React uh, and we are trying to use no libraries at all, like the minimum. You know, like we are trying to do everything from scratch. For, for instance, we are not using any uh, CSS framework or library or preprocessor. We are using like CSS modules just to, you know, have encapsulated CSS. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, React is the best. <laughs> I love React. I have been doing React for a couple of years already. Three years, maybe four. I just counting, you know, uh, companies where I have worked before uh, for probably four or five years I have been working with React. Hey, Juan Jose, nice to have you here. It's nice, nice. Hello everyone, Spectre, nice. So yeah, let me just show you how is the current status of the, pro the, the project so far. Oh, well, I have something called that. For the web application, we are using Next.js. Uh, just because it makes things easier to create a web project. You, you know, you have um, server-side rendering for free and a couple of optimization things for you. You don't need to go, you know, configure Webpack and stuff. By the way, I have a couple of comments here. Uh, normally, it's something that we have in the Spanish version, but in English, I have a filler word. A filler word is, you know, a word that you repeat a lot. And in this case, <laughs> I have the, in English, I have my filler word and this one is, you know, I do that a lot. So if you, you know, the exclamation, you know, it counts how many times I have said, you know, <laughs> and try you, you know, to be more fluid, to improve my English, to improve my Spanish as well, because even in Spanish, sometimes I just get trouble speaking, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, also, we have the components library here. And let me show you a little bit how it looks. So this is the web project. We have used uh, just a couple of components. This is like the first screen that we saw here. Let me just move here a little bit. This is like this screen. But this is using 
this is built with our own components. We are not using any, you know, like UI library. We are, we have this, this is our library, our library component, let me show you. So we are using a storybook, for instance, we have the buttons here, uh, storybook, the last version has this nice, uh, like design system view. It's really nice because you can see the code, you can see the prop types, and it's also for free. It's, it's awesome, though, every time that, you know, includes. Uh, we have here, for instance, the primary button. You can see what kind of props it's going to receive to print it. Secondary button, just kind of type. Also here in the prototypes, you have just this doing prototypes. You have like this free documentation. You also can, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, chain states here. Yeah, you can do like this. Play a little bit with this. It's, it's pretty nice. Uh, we have the car. Uh, we have the headings here, the different colors that our app supports, the different size. And this is something that we have defined. We are not doing like some arbitrary values. And this is based on the side tokens. So let me show you, we have these tokens here. So this is like all the possible variables from our application. This is something we have, uh, you know, done in uh, previous streamings, in Spanish, of course, but it's fine. Maybe you want to practice Spanish, you can follow me in YouTube and check some previous streamings in Spanish. Uh, and something that we did here, we create this nice script called build tokens. And basically what it does is we read this JSON. Let's go here, this JSON. And we transfer these JSON values into custom properties. So this token CSS file is generated. And we did this here in the streaming. Uh, yeah, this is some recursion here, something <laughs> very crazy what we did at the beginning. I Recursion is really hard, recursion functions. Okay, I think we are ready to start coding, right? I, I have provided enough contest. Let me see who is here. Hey, Matias, how are you? Nice to see you. Yes, yes, we, we, we have built this. We This is our, ugh, let me check, let me check. This is our number what streaming. This is, we have a list here. Uh, this is 21, 21. Oh, what happened with the 19? Oh, probably it's no, yeah, I need maybe to upload it. But this is the 21 streaming that we did, and this is all, we have built this, everything from scratch here. We have some pull requests for some of the viewers. That's pretty nice. Natalie did an amazing job uh, improving our script to create components from scratch. That was pretty nice. And Okay, let's start. So this is going to be just UI. Um, and another nice thing that I like to do in this streaming uh, you know, is make the process very real. Like, what are the decisions that I'm going to take? It's like, it's a lot of improvisation, right? So I just want to tell you my purpose today. So it's pretty nice that we have our components here uh, visually represented. For instance, this layout component about the spacing, everything, button, icon. We are following this atomic design uh, approach when we, you have atoms, molecules, and organisms, but we are not building organisms. In my experience, organisms shouldn't be part of the, shouldn't be part of the component library. It's not worth it. It's, it's better just to have these two, you know, uh, type of components, atoms and molecules. And basically atomic design says, okay, you build atoms are the, like the most smaller piece of component that you can build and then molecules are based on atoms and that's it and organisms of course is based on molecules and a couple of atoms it will be but we are not building organisms i mean basically our organisms is our implementation in the web uh, also we have this view we need to uh, fix some stuff like this is, this should be centered we should also fix the icons here because they are not served in the web project but yeah it, it's, it's the stuff that we are like just integrating just a little bit piece by piece. This is some layout test that we are doing uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So what I want to do is just as we have components here, also I would like to have 
design tokens, right? Like this piece of, I will say it's a variable and I want it visually in my storybook. And this is what we want to build today, okay? Chill, chill. Thank you for, for being here, Kalilak. Yeah, take a rest. See you later in your stream. How is everyone? Remember, we are here to also practice English. So it will, it will be nice if you can write something in English. It's worth it. I, I, English is, I will say, it's almost as important, you know, as note, note to code. It could be, uh, uh, you know, almost as important or as important and, you know, learn to code. Because normally for code, for create products, you need communication skills, you know, you, you need some soft skills and it's really important. Remember that big projects, big services, big products are not built by just one person, are built, built by teams. So it's important to have those skills. Okay, so what we're going to do now, <clears throat> probably since we have, I think we have a tokens folder. So I'm not really sure if I want to use this tokens folder to create, you know, my components, token components, maybe. Not sure if it's a layout because this token component is 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 mostly like a helper. It's something that, you know, is not going to be used in our web. It's just to really like just visually see it here. So I'm not sure. I, I, I'm going to like maybe create like the component here. If this is not correct, if we feel that doesn't belong there, we can just move it. You know, it's okay. Just start coding and then we can refactor this. It's, it's fine. So let's create the token here. Uh, this is going to be my component. Uh, unfortunately, we can use the script this time. Maybe this is a special occasion. So let's just let's build it from the beginning. It's fine. So we create our index.js. We have this nice snippet and then let's create the token.js. Uh, we also have the React snippets. Good. And in this case, since our source of true is going to be this, I don't think we need CSS. Probably we need CSS to provide some kind of form to our component, but that's fine. We, 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 we can create the file. We can create the CSS file, token, that module. We are using CSS models here. Uh, maybe token, yeah. And let's just import these styles from token module CSS. Uh, what else, what else? Okay, so I want to do something similar what we did before with the spacer component. Remember this, uh, this kind of uh, structure when we have like the main component and then we have like sub components. Talking about that, I think we need some refactor. This is quite messy, right? This is quite messy. I'm just going to create the folder here, but we, we will do the refactor later. Uh, this is some pattern that I use like in the daily basis. And I'm going to move horizontal and vertical to this folder. I'm not going to do it right now because we are we want to focus in the token. But just to you know to have it there to remind myself I need to do that. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to create a components uh, folder. And then let's start. So so this is my idea. I'm going to create like a type of token based on the different types of tokens. <laughs> Maybe this is redundant, right? But basically I want to create a color token to represent colors, right? And then I'm going to mm, create a spacing token to represent space. Oh, I have an idea here. We can reuse our spacer component. And maybe maybe this, uh, this spacer default component is worthy after all, because remember that, that I said before, yeah, horizontal makes sense and vertical vertical makes sense. But I, I, I wasn't sure if the default, the one that is like a square, it makes sense at all. 
but maybe for the tokens it made a lot of sense uh media query yeah it could be i'm not really sure from family yes definitely something there from size maybe a fun token yeah you know like a fun token where we can apply uh the font size phone way again i i don't have i mean i i, I did this before uh but i feel like it, it didn't went good so yeah i just need to improve that <laughs> that i did before so so i just thinking like what kind of tokens I, I need as a company right because right now yeah we have a well-defined tokens here but i need to find that yeah maybe something related with fonts they will be nice also something for box shadow definitely for the radius and square and we can represent like the different values there uh and finally border width yeah can be something opacity yes another square with the different values of opacity zeta index zeta zeta is a spanish version of z i think it's z it's, it's a hard word z <laughs> a hard letter sorry okay so let's move on uh, and then we have similar thing color this is decisions maybe we want this as a separate uh folder i think so yeah so let's start so we are going to build colors so let's create like here components let's create like color so i'm just going to create a file called color and this time this is going to be yeah a similar thing um what i'm going to do is like this token this token itself doesn't mean anything just going to return like an empty thing maybe yeah maybe a fragment that's fine but then what i'm going to do is like token that color is going to be my color component so i can export it here for color from and then we have components yep color right and it's going to be the same for the all different tokens fonts uh border radius and everything else okay uh, and then, oh, well, 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 maybe this, this is this, I'm thinking, thinking about this, maybe I'm not going to need this after all, hmm, this is something interesting, yeah, maybe I'm not going to need this, yeah, let's just focus on the color and then we decide maybe we need to do something here, something like global, but let's see, so for the color, so for the color, so I'm thinking about passing like the object with the different colors uh, and then I need some stuff I need maybe the value uh, of course I need the value of the color that's going to be like you know maybe the background color but I want to also represent what is like the value here you know something maybe some label below the color and um, for that I'm going to need this um so yeah just start small so the color <laughs> this is a little bit redundant but it's fine and then the label of the token right so for that just going to create line styles uh color is going to be background color so background is going to be like this and then uh the label maybe i want yeah let's do a fragment here maybe we don't need Ah, oh, maybe no no yeah let's create let's create a, a container yeah sorry for that a container this is going to be like the color and then the label here uh, for the label uh let's put that a span uh, uh we don't need anything fancy yeah just label here yeah and then i'm thinking about yeah i'm thinking about color yeah we can like centralize like we can centralize like the different uh, class here in a one file, like the main file, and we can export that. For that is CSS module. You can reuse like that. So let's just like import, import styles, and this in this case, we are going just to go up, right? Uh, and yeah, import this, and here we can put class name, and then we can do do a styles that color. That will do the trick, right? Uh, so yeah, we have the color. Um, 
Yeah, let's do some CSS. Let's let's just try it. Uh, display flex, right? Uh, flex direction column, and then color uh, deep. In this case, in this case, since we are you know doing uh, CSS models, in this case, I'm pretty sure we need to do the global selector. This time is going to work. I promise. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, it's fine. And this one maybe has a height. Uh, let's try something, maybe not 50 pixels. And a width of 50 pixels, right? Uh, yeah, the background is going to be, yeah, background color. That's most specific, that's nice. The label, the label is fine. Mm, column and then align item center. Now let's just let's keep it simple and let's start with the story. So storybook allow me to see visually this component. This is right now we we have done anything. I mean we have we haven't used this token right. So we are not seeing anything here. So then in the stories, uh, I'm just going to create a new folder called tokens. Okay. And then for the tokens, yes, snake. Hey man. This is your chance to speak a lot of English <laughs> to some questions. Yeah, yeah, we are going to start doing English on Thursdays every week. It's some experiment I want to try. Um, you know, I, I'm living in Estocom and I need to practice my English. I also need to start doing some networking here uh, in Europe. So. I love Spanish community, I love Latin America, I mean, I'm from Colombia, so I love, and I develop a lot of content in Spanish, I have a few communities in Spanish, but also I need to start like war on some English speaking, speaker, you know, community, so, uh, yeah, I, I have worked with some meetup communities about CSS, I, I really like CSS, so we have Medellin CSS, Bogota CSS, those are cities from Colombia, but I have like you know found founded uh estocom css we are going to have our first meetup soon of course it's going to be in english of course it's going to be online uh the good news is like our first speakers are latin american speakers that's pretty nice uh, yeah let's see let's see how it goes so here i'm going to create the token color okay color that stories that yes and you know how is this? I just going to copy the icon. Is it? Yeah, the icon is nice. Uh, I paste it here, and then let's just start this. Let's start simple. Let's see how it how it goes. Uh, so here is going to be tokens, and here is going to be color. Yeah, this makes sense. And then the company is color color and color what am I doing wrong Natalie what am I doing wrong <laughs> oh <laughs> oh man this is embarrassing you were talking in Spanish this has never happened you know <laughs> is what it is and color okay this is fine yeah, this is great. So let's see. Uh, can resolve atoms color? Yes, definitely you can resolve that because this is going to be. Oh my god. How was it? Oh, it's going to be tokens at the beginning. So I have a nice plugin. I, I haven't done this before in the streaming, but I have a plugin. It's really it's a really nice plugin. It's one of the best plugins that I have installed in Visual Studio Code. And instead of you know, do this like manually, like start like search what is the you know the thing i can press something like command oh i don't have the image yeah screencast mode yeah you now can see it. command oh now this is going to oh is how is it command shift h and then i can search that's pretty nice uh tokens token is this one no color no no sorry token yeah and then you see you have automatically you have the row of course we have this little thing but works pretty well when you have like a lot of files and you don't need to worry about where is it you just search it and he puts the, like the the row there 
it's a relative path, something like that. Um, I'm going. I'm creating like a Guillermo U space when I explain what are my Visual Scope team, what are my plugins, what are my gear, what is my Chrome extensions. I am creating that for you, so it will be a common in the uh, you know in the stream, and then you can search about what 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 stuff I have, what commands I have, what plugins, everything. What is my camera? What is my lights in the back? <laughs> what kind of shoes I wear? <laughs> what Guillermo's use? Okay. Oh, that's nice. Not the school, San Francisco. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's continue here. So, what was I doing? Oh yeah, so I have token. Token. So it's token because, you know, and then, I'm not sure if this is going to work. First time I do this, and then, yeah, maybe, yeah, this makes sense, right? And then here is token color. Yeah, this is like a kind of namespace thing. So you know that it's something related to tokens. So everyone how, knows how to do it. Uh, and then what is the problem here? So Storybook says it can't resolve token module. Yeah, I know what is that error. Classic. Uh, no, not classic at all. <laughs> here, yeah. I'm missing the CSS thing. Okay, let's see. Yes, token. Great, my first token. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, of course, we have nothing. We have code, yes, we have code, but we have nothing. So. Uh, first thing first, I'm mean, thinking about every token should have, every token should have, maybe, uh, let's do this, let's do class names, we love class names library, class names used to be part of React and they remove it, what was that, ah, they felt that maybe it wasn't part of React, Maybe it wasn't necessary, but we use it because it's pretty handy. Class names, okay, token, great. Why one token? Because at least for the tokens, I want some common style. So in this case, um, maybe I want a border, okay? I want a border, one px, solid, and then let's use some gray color. Gray, maybe 200, I don't know, yeah. I can see something, it's really clear, so let's increase this, uh, no, I don't like it, 500, yeah, something like that, and then I don't want to be flex, maybe in life flex by default, maybe all, all my tokens are going to be in line flex, I maybe, maybe not, no, let's keep it simple, okay, now I have the color thing, of course I don't have a color, of course, I need to put a color. If I put, I don't know, red here. Now we have a nice, you know, token. Let's use, let's use the same tokens that we are using in our app to put some styles here, right? Let's put some border radius. We have this uh, border radius value. And these are the tokens, right? These are the same tokens that we want to represent visually here to know what we are going to use, right? For instance, this is going to be something like this red okay oh maybe this is really wrong yeah we, we will face that in a minute oh yeah so okay i'm going to have a problem yes this belongs to the color this belongs to the color yeah why don't see changes why don't see changes let me see uh, what is my color token? Sorry. Uh, styles color. Hmm. Maybe something's broken. Oh my god. Why am I doing run? Why am I doing run? Okay, let's put the word radius. Oh, maybe it's because I have an error here. Uh, yeah, big error. Border. Reduce small, yeah. Oh no, definitely it's not that. 
What am I doing? <laughs> Let's check. Let's debug. So what is the structure? So we have the tokens here. Uh, background color. Red. Yeah. Style background color. Oh, okay, okay. Now I see why I have run. Yeah. So for my color token, we have it here. Yeah. So I don't want to put the style here. Okay, maybe class name is not necessary. I want to put it here. This is the color. This is like the, you know, there is a container. Mm, and maybe, yeah, this is a signal. You know, maybe we need to be like more accurate. Maybe let's put a proper class for this. Maybe this is token. No, this is container. Oh, yeah, but let's use style, styles, container. Okay. We don't need to worry about collision class names because this is CSS modules. Okay. Let's comment class names for a moment. Okay, so this is going to be color, great. This is going to be container. Uh, this is, yeah, this is my container. I guess right now we don't need anything. If we don't need it, we remove it later. And then color, yeah, color is going to have this. Color is going to have this as well. Yeah, I was, this is what it is. You know, I want to provide real experience. I made mistakes, of course. Okay, this looks better. But I want this label, you know, this label just below. Maybe, maybe the label is going to have its own styles because every token, color, font size is going to have the, this label value. So let's do this. Um, also, yeah, but let's think later about it. Let's just, uh, I mean, you know, I'm thinking about how to solve it in the future. And this is something that most of the programmers has like overthink like let's do this really performant and you don't have performance issues and that's that's not right you resolve performance issues when you have it not before don't think about performance build a product build something an mvp okay so okay let's do uh font size i don't remember what are my font size something fancy but at least i have the tokens right or that's what I think. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? No, this one. Uh, yeah, I hate this. This should be clickable, you know, like I want to go here. No, this all is the code, just make it harder. Uh, what is it? Okay, so what I want to do, yeah, I want font size. Let's, uh, yeah, MD, okay. Font size, I just forget how is it. No, ND. Okay, label, label. Want to do? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, of course. I'm missing class name. This is going to be styles label, right? Yes, right. Okay, so I'm thinking why this is outside. Oh yeah, this is the chance. This is the chance. Container. Yes, yes. Excellent. Do you want it centered or do you want it left aligned? Maybe centered is going to be nicer, right? Yeah. Uh, do we want a spacer? You know? Makes sense, put that spacer here. Should we use just CSS for that? What do you think? Okay, I'm feeling like this gray is really Right? <laughs> Not great. It's really great. Uh, and let's put some box shadow. We have, uh, I think we have just box, just one box shadow. Uh, let's use it. Box shadow. Finish. Yeah, we have something there. Uh, maybe it's too much. Uh, it's fine. What is going on? So, Ariette, we are doing some. So what we're doing right now is like, you know, we have our components here. Atoms, molecules, some layout, right? But, and we have our design tokens, but we have it in this file, right? We have it in, what is the file? This file. Nah, ah, I hate it. 
this file, yes, we have in this file. So we want to have the tokens visually in the storybook because it's nice to know what are the tokens, what are the values, right? This is what I'm doing right now. So we are just like trying to figure out what is the best way to create these token components. This is something exclusively for a storybook, exclusively for our documentation. This is not some components that we are going to use in, in our web app, no. This is just for documentation purpose. It's pretty nice to have it. I just want to show you something. Real quick. I mean, there are some design systems that have it. If we go to Infor uh, Design Tokens, probably they don't have it as nice as we are going to have it. We are going to do it a much better work showing tokens, I promise. So it's something like this. You know, like they have this design token lockup documentation. Let me remove myself. So you can like real quick see, you know, what is the value? Oh man, I just have some inspiration. I should have this to my label, right? This nice like copy me <laughs> thing. Yeah, definitely we want that. And again, oh man, I forget something. You know what? We want to have not just the value of the token, we also want to have how implemented, you know, like bar. Yeah, yeah, definitely we want that. Nice. It's always have good inspiration. So yeah, you have the tokens here. You have like, for instance, font size. What is this? Where can I see how to rent looks? That's pretty bad. We are going to do a better job. <laughs> so yeah, this is, yeah, it was good, but pretty boring. But yeah, they have a lot of tokens. They they, they they have done a good job. Yeah. Don't take me serious. Okay, so yes. So now I want a nice label. So for that, I want some, oh my God, border, nice border. Uh, what is my border here? Color gray 12, I don't know. And then I want a background color. Yeah, it's fine. I like colors who doesn't like colors and of course this is going to be a little darker oh damn it's in the other way good i feel i am like me oh yes yeah just a single little space here yeah cool. oh, yeah nice yeah this is nice uh what else uh this is just visually so let's <laughs> Let's do this. This break the rules, but again, this is just for documentation. So we don't care about doing it like properly. Yeah, like maybe, maybe I will regret about this, but we can change it later. Oh, too much. And of course, border radius. I mean, maybe also we don't have to use tokens here. Tokens for the tokens, maybe not, but it's nice to use our own tokens. It's a good way to validate. Too much, maybe too much. So what is the thing? So I, I don't just want to, I want a label, but also, you know, I also want a value. So I'm going to do value label, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to do something like this. Let's do something like this. Let's move it. Okay, and in this case, and let's just hard code it by now. We are hard coding red, right? But nah, let's just start with something. Let's just start with a real value here. So I, what I'm pretending to do is like I'm going to import, for instance, color. It's color, right? For the token, color from my token. So let's use our nice plugin. I always forget to do it. Tokens, tokens, tokens index. Yeah, this one, nice. And then let's do color. We, are, we, we want to figure out if we can iterate. We I'm going to do that. Don't worry about. Uh, run. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What happened here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Choices. And then, do we have like, what? Color? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm doing something wrong. Choices. Sorry, sorry for that. <laughs> no, 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 we are fine. Color, and then... If we do the colors, we are good. 
and then we have brown yes brown and then we have what is the nice one medium purple okay let's see yes this is like our primary color we are going to do this in a more automatic way so this is my value right and then we have the value and the value I'm just going to hard code it right now, but we need to figure out. And this is the challenge, right? Do you think this is going to be easier? Nah. The value here... Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> the value is the value. <laughs> yes, the value is the value. The value... Ah, oh, man. The value is the value. Is the value the value? Probably not. And what is the and what is the label? The label is the label. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing silly things. So the ba the label is going to be color uh, color. What was it? Sorry. Uh, no. Yeah. Color. Uh, no. This is going to be. This is going to be the usage. Color. We are not exporting this, right? I forget about it. Man. I forgot. Got it. Okay. Color brown, medium purple. Yeah, this is the thing that I want. So it's going to be like this, right? So what I want to show you is like you are going to use it like this. Why am I? Oh, I know why I do it wrong. The value is not the value. Okay, yes, yes. Now you get it. What we want to? Something like this. Of course, we need to improve our CSS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's sorry. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> sorry, my friends. Uh, what is the label? Yeah. So I want a padding. Some paddings. No, this is too much, right? Uh, no Maybe something like that. Yes. What happened with margin top? What happened there? It's no doesn't like it. What the fuck? Oh No, 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 I know what happened I changed this so this Oh man, now I, 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 I have a mess. How should I call it? <laughs> so this is label. This is value. Maybe, yeah, let's let's handle different styles. I don't know. No, no. I lied, I lied. Label. How should we call like description? Usage? Give me a hand. Yes, yes. That's the yeah, yeah, yeah. The tooltip. Oh, okay, okay. No, I got it. Sorry, guys. I, I, I was on follow you. Uh, so yeah, like put the value in the tooltip. Yeah, uh, Natalia and uh, Natalia. Sorry, Natalie. Sorry, <laughs> my brain is a mess in English. Uh, so yeah, Natalie's right. Uh, it's better to see like immediately. No way for an action, definitely. What I'm not sure is about how to handle the position of this. Uh, yeah, let's call it description here. Okay, that's a nice uh, name for that. And description, description, yes, description. Now this one has a margin top of 10 px. Okay. Uh, and also value label 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 baby. Let's do some tricks margin right classic trick What oh right right wasn't right That's hilarious right wasn't right Okay, I have it um, I don't like the color right to Aggressive so let's change the color more gray color gray gray is a gay a gray 
Oh, this is like a twin twister. Gray is a great color. Color gray. I think I am fun in English as well. Not just in Spanish. <laughs> but I have a lot of charisma. <laughs> Probably. Okay, uh, darker. Ah, same result. Yeah, something like that. What happened here? I'm a blind. I'm a blind. What? I don't know why I, I see the right side is like darker. Why is that? Ah, oh, both are the same. Why is it going to be darker? Oh, let's 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 remove the the warnings. Let's prototypes. Always use prototypes. A good practice. Um, okay, okay. Like yes, I like it. Definitely, definitely. That's a good suggestion. We build this together. I mean, I he here for you know, read suggestions. Just bring suggestions. I like feedback. So color, color is an string. Uh, of course, it's required. Label also is an string. Value is also an string. Everything is an string. Everyone have strings. <laughs> okay. So, what? Oh, <laughs> everything is an string. Strings everywhere. Okay. Um. Oh, I like that song. So suggestion, suggestion. Yeah, row, row. Yes. So that means I want a line items center. Yes. Oh. Oh. Now this is wrong. Oh, but I need something, some margin left. Yeah. Boom. Uh, look good. What do you think, guys? Maybe LG? No. <laughs> Definitely not. So Julio, a storybook is like your components visual guide, like you, yeah, like your sandbox, your showcase of components. So for instance, we have like real components here, like buttons, how I implement, also works for your documentation. It has a lot of, you know, uh, usages. So here, for instance, I have the button, this is my default button, I can see how I implement and I can see, you know, documentation about what the props. Uh, this is a React, by the way. And then you can see how primary button looks, how secondary button, tertiary button. So one problem that normally you have in applications is, yeah, you have a bunch of components, but then you have a lot of states, different states that normally you don't see until you reach some point in the application, some flow. So storybook is like just a library, a visual library of your components. So you can check if that's correct. For instance, we have the heading also here and we can check like, okay, what are the different colors? How I implement those colors, right? What are the different size? How it looks? Of course, this looks pretty, maybe nicer in this way, right? So that, that's a story of four. And this is like really easy to implement. It's really easy, like you have a lot of stuff. Also, you have things like, for instance, let's go to the bottom example. You have like, okay, do I want it bigger? Just to check how it looks. Do I want it with different, you know, backgrounds? You can decide what kind of backgrounds do you want here. Do I want it with this kind of, what is this, like a grid? Do I want it responsive? How it looks responsive? Okay, of course I have to, you know, how it looks in large, you know? So it's pretty nice. It's like really, really nice playground environment. You can call it like so many ways. <laughs> and right now we are building like our tokens. Token is a concept about how are the different variables that you are going to have 
So for instance, this token, uh, this token is represented as a color, it's called medium purple, and this is the custom property in CSS that we are going to use, and this is the value. You just want to see what is the value, okay? Okay, I, I think this looks good, right? This looks good. What do you, what do you think, Natalie? Do you like it? Matias? Everyone here? It was a Natalie suggestion. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, Dubnop. How is it going? Okay, so now let's do it for real. For real. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do here, I'm uh, just going to do this uh, container, this little container here. Mm. I did this before. How was it? Uh... Yeah, let me think. I I think I did I did it for the heading. So for the heading, oh, but for the story, heading stories, you can put like a template. Yeah, like a decorator. They call it decorator. So I'm going to do a similar thing. Uh, this probably needs to be a component just to reuse it. But right now we are just going to do it like manually. And why I want that? I want that because I want to like you know put different tokens here. You know something like this. Let me show you. Oops, did something wrong. Got sighted. Okay. Yes. You know, I want like to put the different tokens here. Uh, probably need to solve this space in between. Uh, let's do this. Let's container. Yes. Let's do some margin. Again, this is just for my documentation. So probably we don't need to worry about a lot of rules that we have imposed before okay and then uh okay and so then i we, i can iterate right i can iterate like different colors and let's do it automatic so let's go let's start with brand okay so let's colors yes that's nice definitely and then i want the brand colors let's let's see how this looks run so if i go to the sidebar colors brand perfect brand colors Oh, of course I want the default one. Huh. Color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely want the default one. Okay. So let's let's duplicate it. Let's put default. Okay. Let's put that default color. I want that. Yeah. Maybe I want that. Yes. Why I did that? Because I want this. Like you have like the default sample. Uh. Yeah, let's keep it that and then you have like the different types so brand and why i want i want brand so let's let's do some logic here this is going to be messy <laughs> okay let's do it outside i guess it's not necessary like do it so i want to do ah oh, man so many decisions to take ah, let's do it like here doesn't matter Oh, yes, it matters. Ah, I don't know what to do. Okay, let's do choices, brand, and let's do this cons. Let's call it brand keys. Yeah, let's call it brand keys, and then let's use object that keys to extract the keys from choices. Choices, brand. Great. So then I want to iterate this. Okay, I want to iterate this and then I want to map. Okay, and then I have the key, the different color key or yeah, let's call it brand key. And with that, I want to print my token. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I'm just testing stuff. Let's do it. Okay, so the brand key. Mm -hmm. So for sure, I know how to, you know, do this. Yes. Yeah, that's the value. That's fine. Oh, what is what is broken? It doesn't like it. I did something wrong. Oh, yes, I did something wrong. Oh, maybe I. What? Wait, wait, wait. Token color, brand keys. What the fuck? Doesn't like like a map. 
Okay. What is the problem? Do you know what is the problem? Hey, Samuel! <laughs> Samuel, Samuel, in Spanish. Sorry. For the, for the, I have that. It's, it's super hard to, you know... Sp sp you are speaking... You said... You, you, you're speaking Spanish and then you need to move to English and then English to Spanish. Yeah, it's super hard. Sorry for that So you said and if you like the description container with a flash direction column, oh, okay, I see your point Let's try that but first let's fix this. Why am I doing wrong? Uh, I'm doing wrong Doesn't like, but it doesn't like. Okay, let's keep it simple. So this is a div. Are you happy with that? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, you are not happy with that. Why not? It can't be the key property. It can't be that brand key. That's an error for a storybook. Are you serious? No, that's not. Not preview. Thank you. What? What is it? Maybe. Okay, let's try stuff. Let's return this here and then let's try to bring this inside. Maybe my idea, you know. I'm happy with this. No. He doesn't like it. That's that's really sad. I don't believe you. No, but uh, it's another kind of error, Samuel. Okay, let's check documentation. Okay, so let's check storybook docs. Uh, multiple uh, stories. Yeah. So my advice, my advice, yes, Google it. It's, this is a normal thing. You know, developers also need to Google stuff. But try to check the documentation first. Also try to check GitHub issues as well. And then, may, or maybe if the, the problem is really specific, or maybe if you don't find any documentation, maybe you're finding GitHub issues, let's try Star Overflow or let's try another resources. But it's good if you learn to read documentation because documentation is like the source of truth. And it's going to be like, you know, updated. So it's important to learn how to read documentation. So. I don't like the storybook page because it has a bad responsive. Uh, let me see, writing stories. Uh, I remember I saw that if I put multiple of children, mm, no, multi oh, yeah, multiple stories for multiple components. Let me see, that's what you want. Yeah, there is like a list. Okay. Yeah, but the other day I read about this and I didn't get it. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. You can do this. Oh, wait, maybe. No. This is a valid company, what are you talking about? No, it's not really empty. I mean, no, yeah, you're right, like, but the problem is that, the problem is I don't see the menu. When it's not in the menu, it's because it's broken, you know? Let's start, start again. Mm -hmm. Exactly. When a storybook has an issue with a story, it take it out from the menu. So that's the problem right now. It was working before. I'm not crazy. Am I crazy? I'm a crazy guy. <laughs> oh man, we, we are reaching like our final time. 
We can spend a few more minutes. That's fine. We like to try to solve stuff at the end of the stream. That's something that happens here every time. It's like when you finish your sprint, <laughs> Friday, 5 p.m. <laughs> and you have to do a release. Oh man, that's scary. Friday, 5 p.m. release. Nothing good could happen there. Okay, so uh, yeah, story about sometimes is really slow for a star. It's basically he, he needs to like, I don't know, listen everything or maybe we have some error crazy error This is taking too much Did I break a storybook? Did I break my computer? <laughs> I have something in the screen How is everyone? How is the experience? Do you like? Thursday is in English. Your team is worthy. Your team is fun. I thought it was going to be worse, you know. But it's fine. I uh, I was a little nervous at the beginning. Now I feel fine. It's like a common day <laughs> at work. Okay, this is definitely not happening for some reason. I don't trust this time. Let's go back. Let's let's go back. Uh, let's do this again. Let's comment this. Let's put the fragment here. Let's put one. Oh man, I have something that is like eating my computer. What is it? This is started when, when Samuel joined the stream. I think it's Samuel Falls. <laughs> what is it? Oh no, it's just the streaming. It's crazy about my code not working for some reason. What? Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, no, let's just start here. <laughs> oh, that's right. You are like, you are like a view fanboy, and you have a you. Are, hey, by the way, by the way, I know this is in English. Sorry for that. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to say in English. That's my sorry for Spanish speakers. But Leonidas Esteban is a really, really good teacher, programmer, streamer. Uh, he's going to do a live streaming, live streaming, 24 hours. I'll get a lot of guesses. Samuel is going to be there talking about why Vue is the best framework. I recommend it. You know, I recommend it. Go. It's like, it's like one hour, right? In one hour, Leonidas Esteban is going to start. If you search for, you can go to YouTube. Leonidas Esteban. It's a good friend. Yeah. So he's going to do something here. Oh, this is mobile view. Let's do it fun. Let's do it. Right. Okay. Also, you can find a Twitter. What is it? What is it? I don't see it. It's like a special link. Do you know Samuel? Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Samuel. Let's let's do this fine. Let's go to Leonidas Esteban. Leonidas Esteban. 24 hour. Yeah, this is the agenda. It's pretty crazy, right? And Samuel, yeah, Samuel is here. There's really good streamers. It's in Spanish, but you you should take a look. Leonidas, yeah, it's pretty nice. There is a surprise. Surprise. Yeah, searching in, in Twitter. Okay, so let's go back. So what I did wrong, let's do some retrospective. What we did wrong, what we did right, what could improve. <laughs> now, I don't I don't really understand. Okay, let's do the um, Natalie suggestion first. Uh, what is it, what is it? But you know, but you know Samuel? <laughs> Doubles. <laughs> Red car for you. 
Uh, okay, yeah, so the suggestion was like description. Yes, the description is going to be display flex. And then flex direction, column. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Doesn't look good. Especially because. No, I think it's like more semantic, like visually it's better if you, maybe, you know, another thing maybe you have to do. Uh, let's do this little trick. If you go here, I don't know, I want to try this after. Uh, content. Let's put two dogs. And of course, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then I want it for the first child. This, like this, first child. Yes. Ah, but I don't want it inside. I want it outside. Maybe I can like... Yeah, I can do this, right? Margin left. I haven't used like... This is a pseudo element. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. I need this. <laughs> what? So you're saying I can do that? Are you crazy? Of course I can do. I can do everything with CSS. What are you talking about? CSS is power. <laughs> Relative. Are you saying I can do that? Of course I can do that. Oh my god, now I break it. <laughs> I'm just avoiding the real problem here, right? Just playing with this little thing. Yes, right. Uh, that's right. And left... Uh, Negative, negative, negative. That's a hard word. What? I forget how this. Yes, but then I need more space in there, right? Uh, let's let's give it a little more. Yeah, and then this one. What is it? What is it? Label. Oh yes, this one. Sorry. Pen. Yes. Okay. I just put like a little, you know, two dots there. Maybe, maybe we need some font size. Let's give it love. No, something happened with the alignment. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it like that. Okay. Oh my God. No, okay, okay, it's fine. We can try that later, pull request. Let's try to solve this before uh, we end this streaming. Let's try to figure out why this is not happening one more time, just one more time. So, brand keys, let's do one at a time. It's going to break it? Yes. Yes, the problem is here. Why is that? Okay, let's check the console. Storyboard also can have errors, right? Oh yeah? Cannot convert undefined or null to object. What? Okay, that's a all error. Is there? Yeah. My token function keys on the or null to object. Well, maybe this is Chase's brand. Oh man! And now it's slow. This break everything in a storybook. Stop it! Stop it! Don't break. Let's open a new tab. Sometimes a tab just crash. Maybe story was like trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like that, that was the problem, right? Okay, okay. We are ready. We are ready. Let's do this. Again. <laughs> Again. Brand keys. Oh, what a mistake, man. Um, 
Branky, let's do it, let's do it quick, quick. People wants to go to the Leonidas streaming. <laughs> and check Samuel with you. Okay, uh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Yes, we're fine, almost fine. Okay, let's start. So silly mistake. But that happens, that's a learning. Okay, we, we have a stuff, we have values, great. This is messy. <laughs> Why this is messy? Oh, probably we, not, we need a monophons, we, went, we need a monophon family for this. Do I have it? Do I have it? Tokens, real quick. Ah, no, no, that's <laughs> real to one. Tokens, index, yes. Do I have a mono font size? Font family. No, I don't have it. But this is a task. Okay, this is a task for next time. To do. Add a mono font size to use it in uh, design. No token components. Okay. Okay. Uh, color. No, not color. Story color. Yes, this one. Okay, so we are fine. Then, nice. Now we need the same. Okay, so we need the same here for the color. This is easy PC. Gray. Oh, I'm on screen everything. Okay. We have this nice brown colors here. We can see the values, everything. That's pretty good. Um, but then, this is going to be the, you know, this is going to be... But you know what? Do you know what? This is easy PC. Uh, it depends, Samuel. Like, yes, like this is this is the recommendation. Like, put like a key attribute. But for why is this key attribute? This key attribute key attribute is if you are going to handle a state that has a list and you need to remove items for that list. React, use this key attribute to know what item did you remove, right? But if the list is static, you don't need it. Okay, that's that's the thing. And you can read it in the you know if you go to React documentation. It's, oh, hopefully, it's still there. Key attribute. Let's check it. That's why it's important to you know read about documentation because normally you have like the linter saying, hey, you need to put the key attribute. Let's see. Uh, key attribute, blah blah blah, chain, blah blah blah, blah. yes. So, sometimes, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes, like, uh, we need to do a map and then let's put that index. Oh, maybe I went wrong. What you shouldn't do, what you shouldn't do, is put that index as a key attribute. That's not going to work. It's better, doesn't use a key attribute after all. Because if you don't, let, let me, I, uh, wait, wait, wait. If you choose, yeah, this is the part I'm, I'm looking. If you choose to not assign explicit key to list items, then React will default to use indices as a keys. So that's why it's not needed, you know, when you are not going to modify the list. But let's, let's put it this fine. Doesn't hurt anyone. Okay, um... So I need a, a monophone size, a monophone, no, wait, a mono space phone, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I want a space phone to keep like, you know, the same space between values here, to have the same space between letters, but that's fine. Okay, so yes, yes, we have this little guy, remember, 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 November, uh, remember our script, build tokens, we have this camel case theme remember that we have a two kebab case we can use that we can use that right so let's move it and i have a you know something here let's move this function to its own file because we are going to reuse it we are going to finish with this so let's create a utils folder we didn't have it before utils and then inside util, let's create 
a new file called to no que bad case que bad case.js let's put this here uh, let's export it export default to que bad case right of course let's import it in build tokens now we need it right uh, why we are doing require are we doing require for some reason maybe because this is react oh yeah it's because this is react okay uh no let's go up let's go youtube let's use our plugin okay what case great perfect so then that we have it we can do the same here we can do the same here where is it where is it yes so i'm thinking about this this is going to be hard coded anyway you know this is going to be basically the same this is our brand thing we know this is start with color brand right and then what we can do here is kevat case what auto import what are we talking about kevat case and then we pass the key the brand key okay and then did i import it wrong Maybe. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Look, so now we know how it looks. Again, we need like some kind of monospace phone uh, or maybe, okay, maybe Natalie, now I, I agree with you because we are going to have different uh, sizes for the labels here and maybe that's going to be a mess. So maybe we need some registry division. And so that's maybe a good improvement to do. Um, let's just spend 10 minutes doing that, okay? So Natalie's suggestion again, you know, sometimes you are stubborn, very stubborn. I am sometimes stubborn. Flex direction, column, right. And then for that, you need some margin, no margin right, some margin something. Let's see. Oh man, sorry for that. Let's let's keep it here. Yeah, so we can, yeah. Right. Uh, probably now I don't need this little thing. Yeah, sometimes you do code that. And then for these, for these, uh, what is the... What is the property? The property is flex grow auto. Do you remember that? How I avoid like this? Who knows? Who knows how I avoid in a column flex direction? The growing. I don't like the growing. What was the Natalie suggestion? An align into flex star. Okay. Align. But this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be align items. You're right. Flex star. Oh, yes. That, that's why. By default, he do a stretch. Let me see. Stretch is the default one. Oh, yes. This is the default one. Thank you. Uh, and gap to 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Do you think that's good? Maybe maybe we want to increase the size of the of the square. Yeah, why not? Maybe it's too much. Maybe 70? What do you think? Yeah. Okay, no. Yes. And then maybe the gap between this stuff them yes yes definitely and then i i see something maybe i need a uh, more you know the border maybe it should be like no this is like this nice nah, ugly right but i want a little bit like dark i feel what was the what was the initial color oh my god how can i Redo command Y. Oh shit. Oh, like Photoshop. 
500 yeah yeah it's because you know white colors like <laughs> okay this is pretty nice uh we need to do the same for what are the other colors we need to do the same for instance we we can do this really quick just just let's do it we can do i have i have an idea also let's do this pretty quick just just another like group of colors just that and then we will finish so and then <laughs> again tokens what are the other group colors maybe my default colors could be like this you know great now nah, let's do red i don't want to do gray. so let's do red colors for red colors you just put red here and then oh, okay and now i think something maybe we should like just rename brand keys to keys and then brand key to key okay and then of course here is going to be red this is red yeah perfect so then if we go to the you know to the docs we have brand colors and we have red <laughs> without red value why is that oh, okay because it's red here <laughs> oh man maybe i need to put this yeah let's let yeah look at pretty nice so you have an idea okay this is like the you know token for this kind of color and this is the value maybe we want something like value yeah value i guess value makes sense this is the value right and then you have it in color and you have it in value i mean for talking color oh maybe this is redundant right this is redundant why we were thinking <laughs> oh no no i can i can't do that but it's redundant we gotta agree right so ah uh, it is worth it it is worth it to put it aside nah let's i mean this is redundant definitely yeah definitely this is redundant okay value and um, value and then token color is going to receive a value and that value of course is as a label and also is as the value of the brown background color that's nice like this kind of stuff you don't you know know from the beginning you just notice after you do it you do it uh so then i'm not going to receive any okay we just save something here that's nice okay i think this is good enough for today of course we are missing a lot of other tokens we are missing the font size it was a good exercise but now we have like a nice uh storybook with our design tokens visually there and we can do the same for the other tokens of course and thank you so much thank you so much to be here thank you so much for doing this experiment in english for me uh we are going to do thursdays in english uh this is going to be something uh you know recurrent of course tuesdays and wednesdays it's going to be in spanish uh this is not going to change by the moment i was pretty nice pretty nice to have everyone here uh so you know see you next tuesday for those who speak for those who speak spanish uh yeah see ya hey feel i'm in the mood for a switcher I hit the function, hit the rose light till I hiccup I hit the stage and leave with money, that's a sticker She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker Bill, I'm in the mood for a changer I leave the city and return with my changer They got amnesia, don't remember